Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, back with a new video, another gun show, the date was uh, December 15th, 2019, I'm recording this at, <laughs> right now it's, it's like 12.29 in the morning, because um, I had, I did a few, I, I recorded a video on this before, uh, earlier in the day, but it was, I, had, I had a few things I, need, I needed to correct and, and add to the video, but uh, it went back to, came back to another gun show at the St South Carolina State Fairgrounds, and I had a good time. Uh, I didn't go very early. I went pretty late in the day, but um, I made some pretty good purchases. Didn't spend a whole lot of money, which is usually a goal of mine if I'm not looking for a particular firearm or a part, an accessory, something like that. But I did make, I did manage to bring home some pretty nice stuff. So now this is, I didn't buy this at a show. You see here's the Lee Slug Mold. It's for one ounce slugs. I got this on eBay um, earlier, uh, earlier last month. And it's because I, I came across this, um, I figured it was about time I started getting into casting. And the first thing I wanted to cast was uh, were shotgun slugs. Not necessarily, not necessarily because slugs are expensive, um, they're actually pretty cheap. But I have uh, I have a good bit of lead uh, in storage, and I wanted to get I wanted to get into you know recycling the lead, you no know, cleaning up, and start turning into something that's you know, more useful rather than just you know it remaining as scrap. So I bought this. There's a sprue plate. This is the mold. And this is for casting one ounce slugs. And this is the little dipper that came with um, with the slug mold. And this little ladle, which will basically, you, if you're not familiar with it, you have molten lead. You, you grab some with your ladle. And you pour it in this little hole right here. And after a few after a few seconds of it cooling off, you tap this open with uh, like a wooden mallet or a wooden dowel. And then you can just open this up and the the slug will fall out and fall into a pool of water where it'll cool off. But in order to do that, you need a way of properly heating your lead. So the first thing I picked up at the show the side was this, a lead production pot. Um, I bought this from a guy who's normally at the shows. This is card. Uh, Red Eye Reloading, Nick Davardos, and if you ever go to any of the South Carolina shows, so look for that, look for a big black sign with a red eye in the center of it, and that's where I got this from. Um, he had this production pot, I told him you know, I, was into, I, was getting, I was getting into uh, reloading slugs, I wanted to cast some slugs, and he said I got the thing just for you, he pulled this off underneath the table, it was a bit more rougher looking than this, um, I, got, I got it home, I cleaned it up, took it apart, uh, dumped out. A lot of the, uh, kind of like this uh, buildup that was at the bottom it wasn't lead, but just, uh, just I guess you know stuff that would, stuff that accumulates on old you know on old electric parts at the bottom of this uh, container, bottom of this pot, and uh, you know he had this he gave it to me um, he sold it to me for twenty bucks. What's what's cool is it comes with lead already in it, so I gotta heat it up, um, which I'll do I will do outside. And um, as this, you know, basically as this uh, liquefies, and I get some flux to throw in there to get rid of all the trash that just, you know, that just naturally accumulates inside lead. Um, add some more lead, more scrap lead, melt it down, and start dipping it out with this. Start making shotgun slugs. So yeah, I got this for twenty bucks. Came with, uh, I guess that's maybe like three pounds of maybe uh, maybe uh, two or. Maybe two or two and a half pounds of lead. I think this thing holds like four up to four pounds of lead. So I was pretty happy about that. I will be making videos of me casting um, slugs, so stay tuned. I'm gonna put this card right here. Next on the list, because you know, because you guys know I love to shave my head. I wonder if I got this uh, this sharpener. These two carbide blades. Um, it's, called a, it's a block sharpener. The guy who uh, who's selling it demonstrated in front of me with a pocket knife that I have, and uh, you know he gave it a pretty good edge. He got it, he gave it an edge to where it can be. It was able to uh, cut you know slice a piece of paper, and then to hone it even further, he used this stropping board. Um, has a compound rubbed into it, on two sides. Um, made in the USA, and I bought the whole. I bought both of these things for thirty five bucks. I was like, you guys know I like to shave my head. I usually have some leftover blades um, for my safety razor. 
and I don't want to really, I didn't say I don't, I don't want to throw them out. I always figured you know, if I find a way to actually, you know, hold them to where they're razor sharp again, I'll do it. And so I figured I'd get this kit and put them back in the service. So I just happened to pick this up. And this, I guess, the, like I said, this whole kit right here was uh, 35 bucks. And last but not least, what was a, what is a trip from a gun show? What was a trip to the gun show without some jerky? So I went ahead and picked up, picked, some, uh, picked up some jerky. Let's see what I got here. I got some uh, beef and buffalo jerky. And, uh, this is wild boar with beef stick barbecue flavored. And kangaroo with beef jerky. <laughs> so I, I think it's a, I thought they were, I thought they were some pretty cool combos, especially the kangaroo. I test, I had taste. I there was a uh, taste tester that I can. Partake in, and I had some of the kangaroo, and it was pretty good. Um, this is the guy's card, Keith Nichols. This is card. This is info, and he has a stand, generally at all the shows at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds. But he may have he may have stands elsewhere. I haven't been to many other shows. Only sh only shows I've been to um, was the one at there's one at National Guard base that was uh, it could have been a whole lot better. But there's the one at the fairgrounds, Jamil Temple, and the one in Greenville. And so this is all this is, uh this is all the things I picked up with the, you know like sling these uh the the bullet molds. I picked up all this stuff for plus if I include the entry and parking fee, it came up to seventy four dollars. So I think I had so I would say I had a good time at the at the show. And I think there's one other thing I wanted to include. So here's a bonus. So uh, as you guys, as I mentioned in the last gun show video I did, I got a chance to meet uh, Othias, uh from C and Arsenal, and we actually have a mutual friend. Um, and I ran to that friend at the at the show before I left. As you know, um, as you know, C and Arsenal are selling patches that are um, that are about the 1897 Winchester, and. Uh, our mutual friend gave me this, <laughs> this 6.9 patch. It had my favorite shotgun, you know, the shotgun that's basically on my uh, my homepage, uh, my homepage border, and I think it looks pretty nice. It's a Velcro patch, so we'll put that right there. Um, it's a big thank you. It's basic, basically a Christmas gift from uh, from a mutual friend. But uh, that's all the things I got from the show. I had a good time. Uh, I'm also looking forward to going to the show in Greenville, South Carolina, this coming Saturday. Um, and, you know, I think it'd be pretty cool to see because uh, that show is it'll be, it'll be my third time going, and it's a pretty big show. Um, and I hope that, I hope you'll be able to find some nice things I can um, bring back to my place and show you guys on camera what some kind of things I picked up as as a good way of uh, closing out the new, closing out 2019. Well, that's my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If uh, you want to make want to help with the channel to help with acquiring such, you know, fantastic items, uh, just go to my homepage on YouTube. Look for the "Give Up That Cheese" button and take you to a PayPal link, which will allow you to donate an amount of uh, of your liking. Please leave a comment, rate uh, rate the video, share, subscribe. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please look for my old, look up, look for look at my older videos, as well as look for new videos to come. Well, that's my video. It's uh, another gun show on December 15th.